Hey guys, Jake from New Age Soldier. So I think we've all played the Diablo 1 PlayStation 1 game, right? Where uh, you can actually use a controller to move your character around rather than a mouse and keyboard. Well, I played it recently on RetroArch and the graphics look pretty, pretty bad. Um, also, it doesn't have, um, you know, the multiplayer capabilities of the PC version um, other than uh, local couch co-op. So I decided to add some keyboard expansion to it and uh, also give it some Xbox controller uh, abilities. So things like the uh, spacebar being to attack monsters and talk to the people in town, uh, using WASD or the arrow keys to move the character around or to move your uh, cursor around in the inventory. Um, you can uh, press Q or E to use the first uh, health or mana potions in your belt. Uh, you can press enter to pick up items off the ground uh, or open chests and you can use the X key to cast uh, your spell or skill that you have in your slot or use a scroll or something whatever is in that slot there um, as well as uh, controller functionality um, such as opening up the hot spell um, section so you can select a uh, spell or something uh, and then we have, once again, the health potion, mana potion. You can pause to pull up the game menu. You can open up the auto map, um, character info, um, casting spells, in opening inventory, picking up items, uh, opening chests, attacking, talking to the people in town. All those sort of abilities that I think are what is necessary. Um, and uh, I, at first I was trying to base it off of the PlayStation 1 game, but then I realized that some of those buttons actually didn't make sense they sort of fixed it by adding a lot of um they, they added a menu that would pop open when you pressed a certain button and that menu would have everything in it rather than binding them to all the buttons so i feel like this is a better use case for it so if you'd like to try out this uh, modification you can go to github.com slash erfg12 slash devolution and um, you can try either my already compiled executable or you can compile it yourself as the source code is widely available for anyone to use. Or if you want to use it in your Diablo modification, you can check out the modding section near the bottom and it'll show you exactly what files I created and what changes I made to the source code. So thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.